Hi, I'm Brian McKinnon, Associate Engineer at Future Designs, Inc. And today I'm going to be talking to you about the Renesis Energy SKS7. In the middle here is a 176 pin LQFP package for the S7 G2 microcontroller. Uh, the SKS7 serves as a low cost entry into Renesis evaluation and software development uh, using the Renesis Synergy software platform. In the box you'll find the SKS7 and the USB to micro USB cable and the quick start guide. Uh, this USB cable plugs into the J19 port here, uh, which also serves as the J-Link onboard. So you'll provide both power and J-Link debugging through this simple cable. So this is all you need. Plug this into this cable and into your computer and you're up and running. The SKS7 has a 2.4 inch resistive touch LCD. Uh, this will enable you to control various applications that you develop for this using just the touch screen. So it's both input and output right here. In addition to controlling the device through the touchscreen LCD, you also have these capacitive touch buttons right here and this capacitive touch slider that has 100 points of capacitance, um, which enable you to control your device further using just the device itself. The Arduino Shield header here will enable you to use many of the existing Arduino Shields that have been developed for the Arduino to expand the SKS7's already robust functionality. On the back is a Renesis microcontroller used by Seger. With it, I can debug and program this device. This is a Renesis RL78 microcontroller. This will let you use Bluetooth low energy, and we're developing an app note right now to uh, use this with your iPhone or Android or any smartphone you might have. We've got two PMI connectors here. They are connected to the S7G2, and you can expand functionality of the board uh, with Wi-Fi modules or um, another Bluetooth low energy module or an accelerometer. Uh, you can change the voltage going to the PMOS by switching the jumper on these pins from 5 volts to 3.3 volts. I was very excited to have a chance to review this Renesis SKS7. I went through the quick start guide and several software projects and got to see the full functionality of this device and it seems like a pretty awesome device.